Hey guys, MJH here and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. This time, instead of just mucking around, I'm actually going to do something kind of serious and give you guys a little tutorial on how I boosted my stats on this game. And that is the individual stats um, that you get on each character, including the special ability, stamina, shooting, strength, stealth, flying, driving and lung capacity. Look at me taking a little selfie here. Let's, let's take a photo. There we go. Um, we're going to delete that. First thing I want to say is you can actually train every single skill in one place and I found that this place is best. This is on the beach just outside of the airport in Los Santos. You'll find literally where the triathlon marker is. This is a really good spot because if you do get police on you, which you inevitably will, you can hide behind those rocks there. If I just show you exactly where I hid with my sniper rifle, literally behind this red bit here, there's a nice little spot in the shade where the police just, I don't know what it is, they could not get to me, so it's a very nice little place. So to start off with the special, I'll quickly explain what each character has to do. I'll also write it on the screen so you guys can see while I'm talking about it. Um, the special ability is when you click in L3 and R3. Each character, including Trevor, obviously Michael and Franklin, who I'm playing as now, um, they will do different things. So for Trevor, he becomes insane. He takes much less damage, so he can run into gunfights and things like that. Michael is able to slow down time while shooting, and Franklin is able to slow down time while driving. So to increase Trevor's special skill, you have to do things that make him angry. I know it sounds weird, but failing missions, falling over, taking damage, being run over, headshots, and driving at high speeds, that is how you can get his special ability. Michael, he needs headshots, he needs uh, stealth kills or knockouts. Um, when his health is below 25%, he also gains a bit there. And again, driving at high speeds. So straight away there, you can tell there's a, there's two things, that, well, one thing that both everyone could do actually, including Franklin, that is driving at high speeds will get your special ability up. Uh, Franklin, all you need to do is basically drive around, get near misses, drift, um, go into the oncoming traffic, and drive above 90% of your, of your vehicle's top speed. That really seems to boost it up. So that is how you get the special ability. The way to train it is just to use it. It's quite simple. You guys know how to do that. Um, you just need to you know, obviously click in L3 and R3 and just use it. It's as simple as that. Um, I'm going to do flying first because I've got this chopper here. I don't want it to despawn. Flying is, I'd say, one of the easiest ones to, to do. If you're, if you're a competent flyer on this game and you're good, you'll be able to, to max it out in literally half an hour, no problem. And the best way to do it is to do the flight school. And that is here. So you go down to Los Santos uh, Airport here. Some people might not have this unlocked yet if you're only like, you know, 10% in, but you will eventually unlock this. I think it was in the 20% mark when I unlocked it. If you get gold medals in the flight school, you get 3% stat increase, which is it's pretty quick. If you can get all gold medals, I, I'm pretty sure that will power level you within the half an hour. Um, if you haven't got this unlocked, there is a way of increasing your skill just by flying. Every 10 minutes of flying in the air, so literally just hovering, hovering like this or turning or actually flying around the map, what I'd advise is you use your time wisely, fly around the map and discover every single area like I have. It does make it a lot easier to find things. I've literally flown around the whole thing in, uh, in one of my jets. Um, it's good fun as well if you want to have a look at the map. But every 10 minutes of flying, you will gain 1%. So it's much slower than using the flight school, but you can see there, you've got to fill all five bars in flying there and only 1% every 10 minutes. So it's definitely not the best way to do it. If you can do flight school, go ahead and do that. So the, the main one that you really want to get up fast, I'd recommend is shooting, but we're going to move over to stamina now. So how to increase your stamina? It's probably the most simple um, in terms of being common knowledge, really. It's, it's common sense, actually. Just running, swimming, cycling, everything that you do here, when it involves being athletic, will give you stamina. But the best way, and I mean the quickest and the best way to gain stamina, is to enter a triathlon. So if you come to the guy here who's at the desk with his little noteboard, you can go up to him and enter the triathlon. And what it will be is uh, about a 10-minute race, this first one. And uh, it should gain, gain you quite a lot of stamina. But if you don't want to do a triathlon, simply just run around. Go swimming. Swimming is another good way. It's a little bit more boring though because it's, it's not much to look at really. Um, but cycling is quite good fun. So if you can find a little bicycle somewhere, just go cycling and that will increase your stamina. The next one is shooting. Shooting is probably the most important in this game. 
Um, without shooting skill, you're going to be missing shots. Getting headshots will be much harder, and your crosshairs will fly all over the place. So if you're going to do one of these first, I'd recommend shooting, and it's quite simple. I'm not going to do it here because I'll get the police on me. All you need to do is get headshots and hit enemies. So don't miss your shots. Literally aim at enemies, bang, 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 and you will get some, uh, some skill. But the best way to level up shooting is actually if you go to one of these ammunitions here with a range. You'll see on the, the map thing in the bottom right corner, ammunition with range. Go to one of these shops here and go to the back of the shop and go and do the challenges. What you'll do is you'll walk in, you'll, I think it's like $14 or something like that. You'll go into the back and they will give you challenges with every single weapon in the game pretty much. And uh, the better you do those, the more gold medals you get, the faster you will level up. I'll be doing a separate video, I think, where I actually go and do a triathlon, the shooting range and things like that, if you want to see how to do that stuff. In this video, it's just a simple tutorial explaining it. Now, one of the hardest ones to do is strength, I found, along with stealth. Very difficult. They take a long time. With strength, you've just got to be very patient. All you've got to do is play golf, tennis or darts. I recommend golf. I find it was the most fun for me. And the only golf course in the game is here. So it's just below the, uh, the hills here in Vinewood. Uh, go and play golf there. It costs, I think it's $100 per round. Um, and I think every game, it, it pretty much gives you a fifth of a bar. So 25 golf rounds and you will fill your strength bar completely. And I quite enjoyed it. It was, it was quite fun playing the golf. Um, the other way to do it, like I said, is tennis, which you can't do on Franklin. Um, but if you switch over to Trevor, Trevor or Michael... Uh, you can go ahead and do some tennis there, or you can do darts, which I haven't actually done yet, but apparently it's pretty good fun, um, so you can go ahead and give that a go. The only darts thing I found is here, um, below the airport, in uh, the Sonora Desert, so go ahead and do some darts if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do any of those activities, there is, I want to say, a more fun way, and that is literally punching people. Run up to someone and punch them. Just once will do, or if you want to kill them, then obviously you can. And every 20 punches you hit, you will gain 1%. So it's a lot of punches you're going to have to make. Um, so if, you, if that's what you want to do, then, then go for it. Next one is stealth. Now, if you didn't know, there is actually a stealth mode in this game. Push in the left stick like this, and you will go into stealth mode. You'll see the camera zooms in, and your character actually kind of buckles over a bit, and it moves a lot slower. Stealth has to be the most boring one, I found anyway. The best way to do it is stealth kills, but there is another way. If you don't want to get police on you, simply just run while in stealth mode. So hold A. Don't tap it, otherwise you'll come out. Just go back into stealth mode and hold A, and you just run at this speed. Every 45 meters you run in stealth mode will give you 1%. 45 meters, so I'm guessing that's pretty much roughly to the helicopter there. Um, that, that gives you 1%. The best way I found to get stealth mode up was to get a knife. So go ahead and buy a knife if you haven't got it already. Um, go into stealth mode, sneak up behind people and press B or the right trigger. You'll stab them in the neck like that and that will give you half a percent. No, sorry, it'll give you 0.75%. Every two stealth kills gives you 1.5%. So I found running around in stealth mode while stabbing people was quite a good way to, uh, to get up. You might have seen a tweet recently where I said, does anyone know where I can go and continuously stab people without the police getting me? Um, and that's why, because I was getting my stealth up. So I'm just going to go hide behind these rocks so I can't get caught. You'll see what I mean, they can't really get to you, it's brilliant. That's why I recommend going to this beach. Um, we've gone through flying, the next thing is driving. The easiest way to skill up driving is doing wheelies on bikes, doing air jumps and landing on all four wheels. Basically, if you can grab a quick car, go around the map, do some drifting, do some wheelies on a bike, and do some jumps. That's the best way to increase your driving, I found. And obviously, Franklin is very good at driving on this game, and I recommend you get it up to full with him. Now, the last one, guys, and it's quite handy. I'm in water right now. That is lung capacity. All you want to do, this is why I came to this beach, is go out into the sea here, into the ocean. Notice how the police haven't been able to get to me, by the way. How good is that? Um, when you get to a certain depth, you'll be able to press RB or R1 on PS3, I believe it is, and you can dive underwater. Now, it's very boring, this. Lung capacity, the only way to increase is to use lung capacity. Basically, you need to spend a lot of time underwater, guys. 1% every minute. Oh, I'm dying. I shouldn't, shouldn't let myself die, should I? That was close. 
Every minute you spend underwater, you will gain 1%. So it's a very slow one, but what I did is I just did it while I was watching TV. Just uh, have the controller in your hand, press RB, let him float for a bit, and then when you hear him going, you know, it's time to pull him back up like that. Take one breath and go back down again. And if you do this for about half an hour to an hour, my guess is you'll probably get full lung capacity. Um, I know all of this probably doesn't sound very fun, but I do recommend it, guys, because now, even though I'm only about 45% in the game, Franklin, for me, has everything maxed out. He is absolutely incredible. He's very easy to do missions with because he's so good. Um, so I recommend you take these tips into, uh, into your game. Hopefully you will gain your skills faster than you would have without this video. And if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments, would you like me to do some activities and show you some tips there? If so, then like I said, leave a comment. But thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next GTA video soon.